Merry Christmas. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today is a Whip It Wednesday for Wednesday, December 25th, 2019. So if you want to see what I've been working on this week, please stay tuned. I'm very excited to share this week's Whip It Wednesday projects with you. Um, first, Merry Christmas. Some of you, by the time this video goes up, may be already celebrating Christmas, uh, but Merry Christmas to everybody else. Um, I am just super happy about what's about to happen, what I'm about to show you. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the, um, the little watermark on the right so that you can get uh, notifications of my videos and be subscribed to my channel. I made some string blocks this week. I only made two because I spent most of my time on the other project and it is now completely finished. I'm so excited. It's the Polly and Esther quilt, my polyester quilt. So I want to go ahead and open it out and show it to you and then quickly explain the process about this binding because the binding is, um, it looks like a pipe binding but it's not. So let's open this out and then you can see it. Here we go. And I may come around and zoom in a little bit, but not quite yet actually. I think I'm gonna wait and zoom in in a few minutes. All right, so it's all finished. The only thing that I need to do is clip the, not clip the threads, but tuck away these threads inside um, inside the quilt. I will be working on that. I do need to add a label. I will be doing that as well. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit first about this binding. You'll see it more closely when I zoom in, but what's cool about it is that it's, it looks like it has piping, but it has a little flange that I created and so I want to talk about how I made that. There is a video that I did all about the flange binding. I'll link it um, in the comments below and in the iCard, but I want to show you on this quilt kind of how I did it. So I have some pictures of the quilt as soon as I finished um, quilting it, and I'll insert those pictures here. You can see the, um, the batting and the excess fabric around the outside. So my first step for creating the binding was to cut off that edge. And I'll show you that, excuse me, in a quick video. I'll insert it while I keep talking. Um, and then after I created that, after I cut that part off, I wanted to use two pieces for the, um, the binding. So I ended up cutting from the excess fabric I cut enough strips to go all the way around the edge and those strips were one and a half inches and then I took my my flange fabric which is actually a part of the quilt this fabric here and I cut strips that were one and three quarter inch wide so these fabrics were one and a half inches and then the pipe fabric is one and three quarter inches okay so then I stitch those together end to end and I use the um, the okay. diagonal uh, method to stitch those and then I sew them to each other side by side okay so there are two long strips stitch those together and then I folded or I pressed towards the the thinner fabric so for this in this case it would have been the um, the strips not the solid fabric I, I pressed towards this part of the binding and then I took that pressed um, batting or that binding it was about two and three quarter inches and then I folded it onto itself wrong sides together and pressed and so that's what gave us this little piping I stitched it towards the on the back first then flipped it over and top stitched so that it made it easier for the binding to um, to be complete I am going to, instead of making a label for the quilt, I'm actually going to 
use probably this fabric and just write inside the quilting about the quilt and who made it and all that. Um, and if I get that done before I get the video finished, I will upload it so that you can see it. That along with these next parts, um, or tugging these threads away, are going to be um, the last things that I do for the quilt. I'll take a minute right now and go ahead and, um, and zoom in a little bit so you can see a little more of the quilt up close and personal. Here is the quilt. I actually put it on top of my bed. It's sitting on my pieces of my heart quilt. But you can see that it is much smaller. It's more like a twin, but it's pretty long and pretty skinny. Um, but still, it's just, I just really like it. Uh, let's see if I can get a close-up on some of the quilting. There's some. I did a swirl meander throughout the whole thing. And you can see even on the polyester, it did really well. I ended up switching to my ballpoint needle on the machine, and I felt like that helped a lot. And you can see the quilting all the way around. Um, there was one thing that I wanted to say about it. Oh, I wanted to point out the shape. Let's see. I don't know how well you can see it here. But, like, if you look at the bottom, it's not very rectangular both the bottom and the top kind of have a a curve the sides do as well and that's because that polyester just wouldn't uh, lay right as I was cutting it and adding the borders but it still turned out really good hopefully um, washing the quilt will help some of that too though so hopefully once I wash it it'll be it'll be a little bit better um, Let's see, I'll zoom in a little bit on this flange so you can see it there where it looks like you can really see it on that little section. It looks like it's piped, but it's really not. It's created with that um, using the two different colors of binding. And then there's one more thing that I want to show you. And that is that the quilt is totally reversible. And even the back, the Esther side, is one of my grandma's panels as well. So, um, just as a reminder, this was grandma's part. This dark brown all the way through this light brown. That's all grandma's part. I added the rest. And then if we flip it over, this is the back. And to be completely transparent, completely honest, I really like the back better than the front. I love the colors a little bit more. It's a little brighter, a little more cheery. I do like that. Um, Grandma's part is here. Denim white, denim white, through peach, and down here, and then back up the side. And then I added the, um, the borders here. Let's see. I do want to show you that it is top stitched. So you can see a... Let's see, you can, you can see a stitch line from where I stitched the top to the back. Or the, let me see if I can show it to you. This line right here is the stitch line from where we stitched in the ditch on the flange. But that's what happens when you stitch the, um, when you top stitch the quilt, you do have a seam line on the back. But overall, just a really great quilt, a really great project. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. This has been an amazing journey creating this quilt in honor of my grandmother. I feel like finishing it on Christmas Eve is like an extra special present. It's like giving a gift to myself. So I'm really excited to have that done. Please thumbs up this video. Share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas. Bye.